Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is POCO X3 custom ROM reviews this is Darkfest OS Android version 13 and Darkfest version 13 Tango this is 2022-1220 latest build available you can see 5th December 2022 is the latest available security patch and baseband version kernel user is 4.14.302 Lineage OS kernel has been used, Linux status is enforcing and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 12 minutes and 13 seconds and 4 milliseconds. You can see the scores here, the maximum is 162 and average is 151 and minimum is 128 which is good. It's total to 88% of its max performance after this 12 minutes we have noticed that this is not 100 thread test, this is 20 thread test and this are the home screen you get and this is the quick settings panel again i i don't know what i to say they are given this auto operator sensor in at least this quick settings panel and some of the other roms they don't even give that and i really guys this need to be fixed by developers who will use the roms give the auto brightness sensor here itself i mean the toggle just beside this it will be very easy in my opinion giving it like this i don't think so I, I really don't understand why it is happening like that and here you get all the quick settings panel in the edit section you get all these options you can see here sync is also present it's smooth no lag whatsoever that's fine at least and here we go dialer let me increase a little bit of volume also you can also see the volume panel here you can see and there is a direct video call feature available in this room call recording yes it's also available it announces the other person that you are recording the call this of the dialer it's fine no problem recording dialer in this particular room working fine in my opinion and home screen and other settings like widgets you get all the widgets and uh, home settings this is the launcher we see here dark status bar if you want you can enable from here top shadow some of the customizations are also available here google search bar if you want you can disable them and icon size font size max lines of app parallel like the drawer labels desktop labels and drawer theme icons if you want you can enable from here icon pack also you can choose from here which is different from other roms which you will be get used to it once you flash the rom and you get this kind of gallery application here simply i take took screenshot of cpu throttling test which is not visible here i don't know what's the problem i even tried here refreshing and even settings but i don't know what's problem here i need to reboot a smartphone or what i don't know the took screenshot just before a uh, hover is simply not showing here we just moved into file manager and checked it you want you can use any third party photos application like google photos that's those things going to be work fine now benchmark is starting with geekbench also you can see the app opening time here and performance is fine single score is 562 and multi score is 1641 which is fine and the kernel user is linux 4.14.302 lineage os kernel has been used this is an android 13 darkfest os available tango version this is and camera application this basic one and i know you yeah, will know it better the arno build gcam which will work fine even ultra wide angle also work fine in this gcam port this is the version i use always if you want you can ask me or dm me in the instagram guys and uh, regarding some other benchmark is like android you can also see the app opening time here 3,61,296 is a pretty good score in my opinion and also temperature raise was just 1.6 degree celsius and <laughs> it's showing zero percentage of battery is it real or not i don't know but it is quite interesting here i kept brightness to low here hence it's did not drop any battery during this entire testing which is good in my opinion we are saying very good battery life based roms as of now for poco x3 slash nfc and drm information you get level one that's not the problem as you can see you can watch all the ODD application in high definition resolution those things are working fine and battery life is going to be very good according to the tantra benchmark result i don't know it's going to be good yesterday itself i made a very good battery life from the shared and 12 version this is android 13 version i am shocked of seeing that result of just zero percent during that entire android benchmark result testing and safety net status here again you see here 
it will get passed good thing is that you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay you know sba whatever you want to use you can use those apps going to work fine and again moto dolby atmos is quite uh, default here in every other rom we are seeing this which is good thing in my opinion you can definitely enhance your audio experience using headphone jack and even via speakers those going to be a little bit better compared to normal direct sound settings that Dolby Atmos will definitely make some impact on your audio experience definitely you need to try those things and FM radio experience shoulder working fine no problem regarding that too and maps is also working fine in my opinion hope so i shown everything here and again if you go into settings here you get plenty of options in the dark space again you get customization like battery you get battery percentage and style clock and style date settings it took rebooted itself and that's how it is and the background chip auto head clock show seconds and clock and date settings these are the customer status bar you can enable or disable the toggles from here traffic indicators again network traffic indicators is working fine no problem regarding that miscellaneous logo you can adjust and status bar lyric also you can adjust from here that's working fine and some of the other icons you can add in the miscellaneous settings and here notifications nothing more even in quick settings there are these kind of animation and animation duration customizations available here if you drag again lock screen away there are a little bit of customization you can see on the screen ambient always display battery bar when charging edge lighting if not you can enable that i don't think so you need to use an ambient always on display and general settings you get wallpaper zoom effect and customization these things are given ui style you can choose that is the font headline body font again icon pack so wi-fi signal icon shape those things are given here pulse here some of the other customizations are given not a big customizing rom this is this is a tango version there are a lot more versions in dove fish and we'll see the actual settings and battery life as of now i haven't noticed any draining here but it's a very good battery life i can say these days we are getting very good efficient rom even with lineage os kernel and even the ceylon t kernel which are acting very good they are providing performance by the way and also they are carrying very good efficient rom and you get this battery saver here extreme battery saver is also given in this particular rom 33 watt charging support here this should be important okay face unlock is very very quick oh no it's again unlocked let me cover the front camera here the face unlock is very very quick in this room and this is scanner also you get in the lock screen settings it is showing charging slowly i don't know what happened to roms they are implementing some good things but they are missing the main things like this high speed charging yeah now it is showing charging rapidly which is good sign you can use the 33 watt charger in this particular ROM you can fastly charge your smartphone the POCO X3 slash NFC those are fine in my opinion and sound and vibration you get basic settings here volume steps you can customize some of the options are given here which is good thing media controller and clear speaker option and me sound enhancer direct sound settings enable hi-fi instead of using this you can use the Dolby Atmos the Moto Dolby Atmos and let me know in the comment section guys whichever customization you want to make in audio department I want to know I want to know how you guys use that let me know in the comment section such that i will understand how is your uh, intention to use the audio in smartphone i really don't know you use headphones or through speakers let me know in the comment section and display you get all the basic settings and colors kept to saturated but still it is dull to my liking and refresh rate here minimum maximum preferred refresh rate you can change those things wake count black full screen apps if any app is not playing in the full screen you can adjust here and wallpaper sun style you won't get any other uh, wallpapers other than this and basic colors which is android 13 feature system fonts again these are added here themed icons is given and dark theme yeah let's show you that it's not in pitch black condition but there is option of pure black which is always required in order to make it in pitch black condition 
and accessibility menu is it available yeah it's available this is a handy feature i am the only person i guess explaining about this without using actual physical buttons you can access those volume and even without dragging the notification panel you can use those uh, brightness and some of the other handy features definitely you need to try it out if you are in aosp type of custom roms security again as i said face and fingerprint unlock is given encryption and credentials rom is encrypted but once you boot into recovery it will get decrypted if you apply password or anything like that and other settings if i go into system into gestures and most on system navigation gesture navigation there is option to increase radius and bar length which is very good in my opinion they added all the basic functions here which is fine but overall performance could have been better but still it's better in my opinion but uh, spark os and other recently what i made the seer droid i also make seer droid 13 i already made the previous version those are having a little bit better experience in overall ui and this is not bad the darkfish but i did not feel that smooth compared to other roms what i spoken right now so it depends upon you guys if you want a dark face you already in the previous version definitely go ahead and flash this latest version through recovery only and the firmware i always is 13.0.1.0 if it change i will definitely show in the video but as of now use the same firmware the global 13.0.1.0 even though it is a x3 or x3 nfc use the global firmware it will make better experience in the overall performance of the rom hope so explained everything and uh, let's see pubg mobile gameplay you won't get any high fps count here in the miscellaneous settings let's see nothing fancy here you get just smoothness ultra only no smoothness 90 fps option and loudness is also fine in this rom it's even better than previous what i reviewed the cr dread one 8.12 this one has a little bit of loud here but the 45 or 40 fps gameplay could not make any better here compared to 90 fps hope so they will add that miscellaneous settings in the dark fest also see how the frames are dropping here i mean the frames skipping it's not smooth experience also even with 40 fps what we seen in at least pixel experience plus from there it was a little bit smoother and that's simply missing here I don't know what's the problem. And you can see li minor lag here and there I am noticing. At least I able to kill him. And that's it. It's not clear and it's not even bad also but definitely we are getting other options of good gaming roms then we can shift those let me come back here and i will show the fingerprint unlock speeds you can see it's quick enough but as i said in the yesterday's video the previous video the seer droid it was a little bit faster the 113 roms need a little bit faster unlocking speeds and face unlock i am really happy in this particular rom you can see just see it get unlocked as you can see just press it and see it the screen it gets unlocked which is very good in my opinion this is how the dark face shows the battle life is fine and overall experience is good not bad not even great also this is how the dark face 13 tango version for poco x3 slash nfc if you like the video give it a like and if you still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow that bell notification whenever i upload a new video like this you will get notified we will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now